Hey guys, what's up? And happy Kentucky Derby weekend to you. We're here at Mr. B Clothing, the exclusive outfitter of Brody's Cause and the owners. Uh, yeah. and that's why we're here today to wish Jason and Dennis and uh, all the folks from Iowa down there in K Kentucky very good luck. Tomorrow. We had. I told Dennis when he was in looking for his outfit that uh, I wanted him to have a horse in the Derby every year because it was good for our business. <laughs> he got a kick out of that. But, What'd you put the guys in this oh, year? Oh, it was you know anything bright. I we talk about the Derby as as a male uh, peacock day where you can just uh, spread your colors and enjoy yourself and dress the as bright and as cheerful as you want to be because it is a spectacle of, of apparel as well as a spectacle of athleticism of a horse you know yeah, and it's absolutely a, it's really a terrific event and it's kind of one of the must sees of of, uh, of our time in the in the world of sport so you, you need oh, to yeah. see it once and uh, that's one of my goals and I said next time that uh, the uh, Aubaugh farms get uh, to the Derby I'm gonna be there yeah it should be fun well, I know that they welcome having you down there. Well, I, I could be there, uh, I could go and make sure they're all put together. Yeah, I mean you go there and you straighten all the ties. Get, get, the, get the pocket squares get, get right, the, the get the shirts, links, everything right. All yeah. that good stuff. But we had a lot of fun dressing them and we, we put them in some spectacular outfits and for all of you who, who want to dress for the ordinary time we have lots of uh, selection right now for spring. We're full of color yet of course spring is about color but we're also about uh, taking care of your needs year round and so Stop in at uh, 1995 Northwest 86th Street in beautiful Clive, Iowa, and enjoy the surroundings of Mr. B and, and the service of Mike, Mac, uh, Andy, Ryan, and of course John, all of the seasoned uh, veterans here that's been in Mr. B for a long time that, that'll be uh, of service to you. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a great group of guys if you guys want to swing in here. Uh, I think, too, Tim, it's, it's fascinating for me. I never really, I never followed horse racing at all until I met Jason. Right. And for those who are, Jason's the owner of the of Cyclone Fanatic too. Right. That's how we're um, connected. So, yeah. yeah. And it's such a fascinating sport to me. Oh. I didn't know anything about it, Tim. I thought you were just throwing horses out right. there and they run around in a circle. Oh. And there is just so much that goes into yeah. it. And we've seen these guys kind of, you know, develop their, their stable over the years. Oh, and it is. It'll, it'll really be cool for everybody. And I know how passionate Jason is about building the sport of horse racing and you know all week long on, on my radio show we talked about horse racing it's, it's, it's good fun. for everybody it's, it's good, for, a big good for Iowa really yeah. uh, the reality of it is is I it's a lot of comparison to what you deal with at, at Iowa State with their basketball program they bring a lot of players in they're looking for the thoroughbred and, yeah. and that's really what the athleticism of a horse today is not any different than uh, Niang making the baskets <laughs> that he made I mean you, you look for yeah. athleticism and you watch Brody's cause go around the, in on some of the uh, social media that I saw, and they just love to run. They're bred to run, and everybody says, "Why would you do that to an animal?" Because they love it. Yeah, and that's it's like a release for. And them. I only don't know this much about horse racing, but what a beautiful thing to watch a horse in full stride. It's just gorgeous. And uh, uh, best wishes to all of farms and and Jason and Dennis and their families. They're a whole family. They're there's just a group of friends down there having a good time and and wishing for the best and. And they're all decked out in Mr. B, too. Absolutely. And, and what a great thing it would be for Des Moines Area Community College if Dennis uh, has uh, yeah. contributed to, to their cause if they win. And so all in all, it's, it's what Dennis has been able to do for Central Iowa, and, and, and he's been a good, uh, good partner with a lot of people, and uh, best to him. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good stuff. We just right. wanted to wish him good luck today. Absolutely. And, of course, uh, you know, you guys probably aren't going to the Derby. If you're watching this, you'd probably already be down there. But swing on in. Tim's got, man, it's very bright. Um, it's completely remodeled. The remodel got done a couple months ago, I know. It yeah. looks beautiful in here, Tim, and Thank uh, you. hopefully you know, we get some people in here. The other thing I might add is, you know, the celebrity of, of the uh, Derby has caught on to having Derby parties and yeah, stuff like that. Sure so we have, we have a lot of things going on locally that we've been able to help in, in dressing and the having. The Coaches versus Cancer, I know, is yeah, doing a big Derby thing. Right. So there's a lot of themes that connected with that event. So it's become a phenomenon and what that it's been going on for a number of years but it's just caught on uh, nationwide more and, so recently yeah I think so in the last 10-15 uh, years I've, I really feel that there's a lot of momentum about uh, the Derby and what it's what it does for uh, society and how they get caught up with it and 
and I, th I think that's our society in general. We love these kind of events. Yeah. It's a reason to gather and a reason Absolutely. to dress up and do some fun things. So hats off to our local talent and, and uh, best wishes to them. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, we'll be back here in a few weeks to talk to Tim Sitzman. We'll start our, coming up, we'll do our, before too long, we'll be doing our summer pick well, series. It, it, it's fun Matt because Campbell and the Cyclones. it's hard to believe we have a new coach and a new opportunity for the Cyclones. And yep. It's, it's going to be exciting times, and I, I say this and re-establish re, 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 uh, myself as a comment that be good fans and watch this thing happen. I think we caught a good coach in Matt Campbell, and, and the best wishes to Coach Rhodes, who is a, a personal friend of mine, and I, I know that he'll do well at Arkansas yep. and, and in that program. I just know it. He's a quality guy, but uh, things change in that business, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hawkeyes, Cyclones, Panthers, whatever, everybody will be rooting for one horse on Saturday, right? Yeah, by the way, I've got a Cyclone tie over there for those oh, who want to dress right. in a nice tie. We, we got that for the, all the teams in the state, so it's all right. kind of fun. So. Come on in here and uh, get that for Father's Day, too. 1995 Northwest 86th Street in beautiful Clive, Iowa. It's always fun to be with Chris Williams. Yeah. He's Tim. I'm Chris. So long, everybody.